my official name is Hang Hee Ko Park, and uh, now I'm a principal researcher in Atri. Uh, from uh, 2004, uh, I have been working with OXA at TFT. So before 2004, um, I had worked with uh, other display like the OLED passivation and electroluminescence display with ALD. But from 2004, my the big concerns and most research activity focus on the development of the OXA at TFT. Yeah. So telling the truth, the development of the ALD process, that is not my major, but the mostly I'm working with the ALD uh, and also, uh, as you know, the display industry, the, most, the, the, the tools as for training and the PECBD. However, I'm pretty sure that the ALD is really keep, will be a key player in the industry, especially in terms of the security. So that's why still I'm working with the ARD to develop the, the high quality and high mobility oxide TFT. I think the, the increased uh, research activity in ARD is quite natural because uh, in semiconductor, the high density, the need for the high density is really important. So I think that the only LD can provide really high quality film as the same film. And if, especially these days, the low temperature, high quality dielectric, the need for that, such as the silicon nitride and silicon oxide, blah, 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 blah. Uh, that, that kind of requirements need the LD can contribute to the, air, uh, the semiconductor industry. Uh, in terms of the display, maybe I. I must, I may be the, the, the oldest uh, researcher who worked with ALD in, in, in this play because as you know, as you might know, the ALD, uh, first time, the, the first invention of the ALD uh, started from, uh, for the application to ELD, you know that, that the, the microchemistry developed the ALD to develop the electroluminescence uh, display. But anyway, so I, my research with the ALD starts from the ELD and then moved to the OLED patch version and then moved to the oxide TFT. But this time, uh, especially in oxide TFT and OLED patch version, uh, OLED patch version need really high quality, very uh, property. So ALD grown aluminum oxide, that is a really good property against the humidity and any other oxidant gas uh, incorporation. So that kind of high barrier property of the LD film can even contribute to the oxide therapy because the oxide semiconductor uh, seems to be a little sensitive to the hydrogen and the water. So by uh, adaptation, the LD aluminum oxide into the oxide therapy we can improve the quality of the oxidative performance pretty high. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, especially uh, as uh, the display industry moves from the silicon to the oxide semiconductor, I guess the need for the LED to seems to be quite increased. However, the tragedy, I know that uh, in, in your question list, there are so many other uh, opinion in real industry because you know that the, the industry is really conservative. So using new material and using some new tools, they are really afraid of using that kind of new things. So, so far at this moment, I know that some Korean company and also other companies are interested in uh, using or testing the ALD tools for the industry. So maybe uh, as long as they realize the ALD is really ALD film is really good, especially for all the patch vision and side therapies, then there seems to be some rooms for ALD tools can uh, into the, the industry business. So virtually uh, the 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 really increased um, interest in the ALD in the Korean community that seems to be quite a natural to me. Yeah. 
the, the, the post war, um, actually, um, in industry before, I guess the, the better property against the hydrogen corporation, that is really important. Uh, in oxide capture, it's quite different from the silicon based capture, such as among first world based capture. The, the electrical property is quite sensitive to the hydrogen contacts because the hydrogen itself uh, play as a shower boomer in the oxide semiconductor. So it's really key technology to control the hydrogen contents in the oxide semiconductor with, uh, after the full process. So uh, as you might guess, the PCVD layer, especially the silicon nitride, uh, which should be deposited from the silane plus ammonia, they can cause lots of the hydrogen incorporation to the semiconductor. In this case, the TFT performance is quite degraded. However, if we adopt the aluminum oxide with the ALD, then we can reduce the hydrogen content and also we can protect, protect some hydrogen incorporation uh, from the other film. So that means uh, if we passivate the uh, oxide capture with ALD film, then we can uh, protect the oxide capture from other process Beauty of the ALD uh, in the oxide capture field is a really good property for the hydrogen barrier. So that, that is my first concern, especially um, in, in, even in the display industry, the, the, the main trend of the display uh, industry now is a high uh, resolution. So to make, to make high resolutions, especially in the case of the oxide capture, the uh, semiconductor itself needs a little higher carry amount. Even with that kind of the carrier amount, we definitely care about the hydrogen incorporation from the outside. So I guess for the next generation, the, at the back end for the next generation, especially for high resolution, even in the TV or mobile, I guess the ALD film is really important. So this is my first concern. And the second concern is the I definitely feel sure that the capacity, the most important thing is the high quality gate electric gate insulator. Even though the, the, the semiconductor quality is also very important, however, to get the high performance of the TRP, most of all, the high quality of the gate electric is really important. So in, in the oxide semiconductor, the high quality means the gate electric should have less hydrogen. So compared to the PCD process, the gate battery, the AAB battery has less hydrogen. And also that is quite stoichiometric. So I think that's the, the, the really good uh, points of the AAB in the battery test. Actually, I think the, the technology itself, uh, mm, at, at, I mean, the, the, uh, in terms of the gate battery and some patient film, the quality itself is quite enough so far, I'm pretty sure. The problem is how industry can adopt the tool in reality, not the just testing, not the just, uh, just the feasibility testing. I really want you know what, my, I have two dreams in my research activity. One is to develop, one is to see the ALD tool uh, is into the, the display line, best production line. So that is my, one of the dreams. So uh, to, for my, to my dream control, the industry should, uh, uh, should know that the ALD, there is no problem at least in terms of the tech time. So, the, the, so the, I guess the main challenge is not the AD process, it's about the tool. I mean, the, how to make the 
of shift the pattern and the shortest. And at the, uh, especially in, I don't know exactly in the semiconductor industry, however, in, in this play, there is no bad style. Mostly it's uh, just, just, how can I say that? It's it just um, shift to shift. But it's not, there is no concept for the bad. Well, anyway, if the tech is really important in, in the dis display industry, well, the first thing of the ALD, uh, the challenge is to the, the make the process time short. And the second thing is we also need to concern about the maintenance of the ALD tools because uh, in the case of the PCD process, the in situ cleaning, chamber cleaning is possible. However, uh, in the case of the ALD, uh, if, if some uh, traveling type ALD, the in situ cleaning is really hard. Especially the silicon oxide, it's okay. However, if that is the aluminum oxide, which is very long for the hydrogen barrier, yeah, it's really hard to in situ cleaning of the chamber. In that case, we need to the wet cleaning to maintain for the uh, maintenance in the next production line. So that's why there is some some really big some, some, some big challenge for ALD uh, can get into the industry, the real industry. So I guess some some uh, uh, machine designer have to think about that kind of maintenance way and to make take time short, that's going to be two big challenges for the ALD. My big point. <laughs> and then in Korea, there are very big, famous uh, two company, display company, Samsung Display and LG Display. So whenever I met some manager or some engineer uh, who belong to, to their company, I keep saying that ALD is the most important tool. So you should change your viewpoint of the ALD. ALD is small and ALD is small size to No, it's not at this moment. So you need to some kind of creative and some new way thinking in the display industry. That's what I keep saying to the industry guys. So ALD is pretty ready for the at least Gen 6 even to the LCD or AMOLED, so you can uh, change. This is the right time you need to change, or you need to add one more to ALD in your display, <laughs> next production line. <laughs> so that's I always want to say to the display industry. But I think uh, the display technology and semiconductor technology so far, uh, still several really big challenges remain in the semiconductor industry. I heard that, and still uh, some challenges in the uh, even display area. However, for the newcomer, because that it seems to be quite saturated. So I think I hope they uh, search the new uh, new application of the ALD like. The like biologically or some other area, I don't know in detail what kind of area comes to the ALD research. So if someone is really interested in ALD tools, I hope they should some, some, they develop a new application of ALD. So that's uh, what I want to say, the new common of ALD technology.